guys, I hope that you have had an amazing Thanksgiving week. I know 2020 has been hard, and this Thanksgiving has probably been a little different, but I hope you found joy and laughter and made great memories this past week. Today, I want to tell you an epic Bible story from Luke chapter 1, verses 5 through 25. There was a priest named Zechariah, and he was married to a woman named Elizabeth. They lived their lives in obedience to God. The Bible says that they were righteous in God's eyes. However, they were not able to have any children. They had long been prayed for a very long time that God would give them a child, but now they were too old to be able to have any. They were very sad and maybe even a little angry. One day, Zechariah went to the temple. He would be there a week to do his priestly duties. While Zechariah was in the sanctuary, an angel of the Lord appeared to him. When Zechariah saw the angel, he was overwhelmed with fear. The angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. God has heard your prayer. Your wife, Elizabeth, will give you a son, and you are to name him John. You will have great joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the eyes of the Lord. How do you think Zechariah responded with this news? Well, he said, how can I be sure that this will happen? I'm an old man now, and my wife is also well along in years. Zechariah did not want to have hope that he and Elizabeth would have any children. Who knows what hope is? A lot of times people think hope is wishful thinking. I hope I get an Xbox for Christmas. I hope it snows and we can have some school days off and we can go sledding. I hope my parents let me have ice cream after dinner. But you know what? That type of hope fails us because we put our hope in the wrong things. We put our hope in Santa to bring us a gift. We put our hope in the weather to bring us snow. We put hope in our parents that they bought ice cream and will let us eat it. But intentionally or unintentionally, everything fails us. And that hurts. It hurts when the things we hope in fail. But there is one person who will never, ever fail us. And it's Jesus. Who never fails us? Jesus. For followers of Jesus, we can have true hope. Hope is not wishful thinking, but a confidence that God holds all things in his very capable hands. It is assurance that Jesus will never ever fail us. Zechariah did not have hope that God would give him an Elizabeth a baby. He did not have confidence or assurance that God would take care of them and provide for them. He did not want to be hurt with false hope. Then the angel said, I am Gabriel. I stand in the very presence of God, and it was him who sent me to tell you this good news. Since you didn't believe what I said, you will be unable to speak until your child is born. People were waiting for Zechariah to come out of the sanctuary. They were starting to worry about what was taking him so long. Finally, Zechariah came out, but he was unable to speak. He started to use his arms to tell them what had happened, and the people realized that something amazing happened to him inside the sanctuary. After Zechariah's week of serving in the temple, was over. He returned home to his wife, Elizabeth. It wasn't very long after his return home that she became pregnant. When she found out she was having a baby, she said, the Lord is the king. He took away my disgrace of having no children. God told Zechariah that he and Elizabeth were going to have a baby even in their old age, and God did not fail them. We can put our hope in Jesus. God has never failed, and he will never fail you, even through life's most difficult moments. Today is the first Sunday of Advent. Advent is a time when we celebrate the coming of Jesus as a baby, and when we wait in great anticipation for his return as our victorious king. The first Sunday of Advent is focused on hope, 
because of the birth of Jesus Christ, his death and his resurrection from the grave, we have hope. We have hope because Jesus loves us so much. We have hope because Jesus never, ever fails. We have hope because Jesus reigns victoriously and he can never be defeated. So my friends, let's choose to place our hope in Jesus Christ. Let's pray. God, I thank you so much for sending your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you that because of him and because of you, we have incredible hope, hope that never fails, hope that never disappoints, hope that never leaves us. God, may this Advent season we be filled with your incredible hope in all situations in our life, trusting in you, knowing that you love us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, my friends, I hope you know that you are greatly loved, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.